what's taking place after the end of this final church. The, the, the understanding that, that we have from the Bible is, is this whole thing kind of ends when, when Jesus Christ comes back. He has, he, when he left, he made a promise. He said, I'm going to come back and, and take you to where I am, to heaven. And so we have this, this promise, it's called the, the, the blessed hope. And the Bible calls it this hope, or it's why I'm an Adventist Christian. I'm looking for the advent mm. or the second coming, the return of Jesus Christ. That's the hope that Christians hold on to. It doesn't mean that I just go on pause and don't live my life or enjoy my life now, but it means that ultimately the end of the game is not when I finally accomplish something or if I make it to the goal line. The end of the game is Jesus Christ comes back and if I know him, have a have a relationship, a positive relationship with him, then my future is taken care of. Now I've heard at that particular time, now there's a word called millennium in the Bible. Mm -hmm. A thousand year period. Now when does this take place? From my understanding of the Bible, the millennium takes place, it begins when Christ comes. That begins a period of time when nothing is happening on this earth. It's a Everything that's happening is it's done it's just yeah, it's done. Nobody alive, it's just done. And the only thing that's happening is in heaven. Now what happens to Satan if the world is destroyed? Yeah. Okay, what happens to Satan? It, the, the Bible in Revelation pictures him as, as being, he uses the, the terminology of chained here, but basically he's stuck here on this chaos waste of a, of a planet. Uh, everybody's either gone mm -hmm. to heaven or dead. So he's kind of like in prison you know i mean i mean his whole deal his whole deal has been for however long from whenever he uh, chose to rebel against god his whole deal has been to discredit god to say that god is unfair and that his way satan's way would be better mm -hmm. um so how does he do that he tries to influence whoever all lives in the universe okay. including us here on earth you know that 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 God really isn't a good guy. God is God is out for His own good and and out to use us and and out to uh, you know control us with with no uh, good intentions for us. It's going to be a rough time for him because suddenly there's nobody to to sell his story to. After the thousand years, it describes the Bible describes a, a, a resurrection of all people. In other words, everyone who dies eventually comes back to life. Okay, but the good people are already in heaven though. It, 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 it describes this resurrection as happening at two different times. Ah, Those people okay. who, who have chosen to love God, mm -hmm. they are resurrected when He comes back. The rest of the dead, it says in Revelation 20, come back to life after this thousand years. This thousand years is only really mentioned in Revelation 20 in the Bible. Uh, we call it the millennium. It's just a word that means one, it's just what Latin that means a thousand years. The Bible says that after the thousand years, all of the people who have died, who are on earth, are resurrected back to life. Suddenly Satan has an audience. Mm -hmm. And then it, it's, it's wild what it describes here. Um, it describes ultimately at that time this, this city that's, that's called New Jerusalem in the Bible, this heavenly city where God's people have been taken and spent a thousand years with him. It describes this whole city as coming down through space to this earth. Then Satan, his, his followers, his angels, his <laughs> demons, and all of the people who have been resurrected, it describes them as surrounding that city, seemingly with the intention of, this is our time to take down God and his people. So they're dead, and, and God raises them? Yep. So if God raises them, why does God raise God them? The only the source of life. Why? It's one last chance to, to perhaps make clear to all people, this will be the one time ever that all human beings mm -hmm. who have ever lived on earth are together alive at one time. Say you're in heaven now, mm -hmm. and, which I hope you will be. Thank you very much. <laughs> Plan to be. Say you're in heaven, you know, and, um, and I'm not. And maybe you say, well, you know that, that Darren God's a guy, I thought he was okay, I thought he loved God, what's, what's up with him? Mm -hmm. I suppose at that moment, if you look out and you see that I'm, I'm rallying around and I, my desire is to kill you and Satan, that might help with any questions you had about, you know, 
why am I not going to live for eternity with God? Because it, it's one last chance to really show where I stand that, that ultimately I do not want to live with God. Okay. And it, there's a depiction of an acknowledgement by all that, you know, God, you are right. doesn't mean they love God or want to live with God, but an acknowledgement is right.